Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Anthony. I'm really getting used to this, not gonna lie. But anyways, today I'm gonna be bringing you all seven crafting recipes that changed in Minecraft. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. I hope you all enjoy it. The glistering melon was added in the Minecraft 1.0 update, and it is a non-edible item used for making potions. But with that being being said, the glistering melon also used to have an old crafting recipe from Minecraft 1.0 all the way up to the Minecraft 1.5 update. So currently, the glistering melon is crafted with 8 gold nuggets and a regular melon in the center, but it was originally crafted by using 1 gold nugget and 1 melon slice. But as I mentioned, the old recipe only lasted from Minecraft 1.0 all the way up to Minecraft 1.5 because it was then changed in the Minecraft 1.6 update. The drop not to be confused with the dispenser, is a block that was added in the Minecraft 1.5 update that is used to eject items or push items into another container such as chests. But did you also know that during the snapshot phase of Minecraft 1.5, the dropper actually used to have an old crafting recipe? So currently today, the dropper is crafted by using 7 cobblestone and 1 redstone dust at the bottom. But during the snapshot phase for Minecraft 1.5, the dropper was actually crafted by by using 7 cobblestone, 1 redstone dust, and an additional hopper in the center. But then, in the final Minecraft 1.5 update, the crafting recipe was changed to what we have today. The armor stand was added during the snapshot phase of Minecraft 1.8, and it actually had a different appearance as well as an old crafting recipe. So the picture you see on screen was the first ever image for the armor stand released, and you can definitely tell that its appearance is slightly different to the armor stand that we have today. I mean, the main difference is that it doesn't have a stone slab underneath it. Now this meant that the crafting recipe for the armor stand in the snapshot phase was different as it was only crafted by using 6 sticks. But then of course in the final Minecraft 1.8 update the recipe was changed to where a stone slab was required as well as the 6 sticks. Leather armor was added in the classic version of Minecraft but it didn't receive a crafting recipe until the in-dev phase. Now with that being said, the first recipe it was given in the in-dev version of Minecraft was very different to what we have today. So leather armor, previously known as cloth armor, was originally crafted by using wool instead of leather. Now the leather armor in the in-dev phase still has the same general crafting recipe as all the other armors in the game, but it's just using wool instead of leather, which is kind of strange to me. But then in the Minecraft alpha update, leather was added into the game, allowing the player to craft leather armor with leather instead of wool. There are many different types of slabs in Minecraft, Craft, and I'll just give you a second to look at the crafting recipes for all of them. So now that you've seen how all the different types of slabs are crafted, we are now going to be focusing on one particular slab, which is the stone slab. So the stone slab is currently crafted by using three stone, which makes sense, right? But back in the earlier days of Minecraft, from alpha all the way up to beta 1.2, the stone slab was actually crafted by using three cobblestone instead of three stone. But then in the beta 1.3 update, the cobblestone slab was added into the game, which meant the recipe had to be changed for the stone slab. Wool was added in the classic version of Minecraft, but it wasn't able to be crafted until the in-dev version as that was when string was added. So when string was added in the in-dev version of Minecraft, wool received a crafting recipe, but it was a different recipe to what we have today. So from Minecraft in-dev all the way up to beta 1.5, wool was actually crafted by using 9 pieces of string in a 3x3 grid in the crafting table. But then in the Minecraft beta 1.6 update, the craft crafting recipe was changed to where you would only use 4 string instead of 9. The final change I'm going to go over is not a change made to the crafting recipe itself, but a change made to the amount of items produced when crafting the item. Now the first example is the ladder. When the ladder was first added in Minecraft in-dev, the ladder crafting recipe produced 1 ladder per 7 sticks. But then in the beta 1.5 update, the crafting recipe for the ladder would now produce 2 ladders instead of 1. But then in 
the Minecraft 1.2.1 update, the crafting recipe now produces three ladders per seven sticks as opposed to one during in-dev and two during beta 1.5. The other example is the door. Now the door was added in the inf dev version of Minecraft and for a very long time crafting a door would only give you one. But then in the Minecraft 1.8 update, crafting a door would now yield three doors instead of one. But yeah, that just about does it for today's video everybody, so I really hope you all enjoyed it and if you all want to play on my Minecraft server then the IP is pele.ideactivatemc.net. Now this is actually the third crafting recipe change video that I've made on my channel because I've actually uploaded two other crafting recipe change videos in the past and I'm probably going to make another video basically concluding every crafting recipe change I've covered. So yeah, definitely look out for that video. And by the way guys, if you want to keep up to date from when I'm going to be uploading new videos and everything like that, then be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. But anyways, I'm going to go now everybody because I've got some more videos to work on. I'm currently working on a Sky Wars video that I made with my friend yesterday and I'm also going to be making another machinima based top 10 video that you guys saw a while ago. It was a very funny video and I'm going to be making another one of those so definitely look out for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and we are 2,000 subscribers away from 500,000 which is absolutely insane. I am so excited to hit that milestone. It's half a million. I mean that is just a huge number to comprehend. But yeah, I'm going to go now everybody because I really need a drink of water after doing all of this commentating. So thank you for watching everybody. See you in my next video. Goodbye.